Hello, my name is Svetlana Falimanova, and I am Associate Professor at the Department of Plant Pathology at the University of Florida. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers of the Lab Roots Microbiology Virtual Week for the invitation and for the opportunity to present this talk at this session. And today I would like to focus on the role of virus-host interactions in tissue tropism of plant viruses. To establish, a uh, to establish uh, infection, plant viruses need to effectively invade and spread uh, within their hosts. Most viruses are typically introduced into a plant by epidermal or mesophyll cells in which they disassemble, replicate, translate their proteins and assemble new virions. Viruses then move cell to cell until they reach phloem, and the phloem serves as the highway by which plant viruses spread throughout their hosts. Compared with the movement of viruses in non-phloem tissues, virus entry, long distance translocation, and exit from the phloem typically requires additional viral factors and complex virus-host interactions. Probably because phloem has evolved additional protection against these molecular hitchhikers. On the other hand, an increasing evidence suggests that viruses are capable of effectively manipulating phloem for their advantage. A recent study examined the translatome of uninfected versus tobacco mosaic infected Arabidopsis thaliana and tobacco plants and revealed that phloem responses to the virus infection were several fold higher than responses in non phloem tissue. And most processes were altered only in the phloem. The researchers further demonstrated that tobacco mosaic virus reprograms companion cell transcription by disrupting nuclear localization of auxin endolacetic acid transcriptional regulators via recruitment by the tobacco mosaic virus trans replicates to the cytoplasm. And these events result in the enhancement of phloem loading of the virus and its systemic transport. Most viruses are capable of infecting most types of cells in a plant host. However, there are several groups of plant viruses which tissue tropism is limited to the phloem. These viruses are typically inserted directly into the phloem by vectoring phloem feeding insects. It could be hypothesized that uh, viruses that are confined to particular tissue have simplified movement systems. However, the opposite is true. For instance, luteoviruses that are phloem limited viruses have four proteins that are required for their effective movement within a phloem. Cluster viruses have even more complex uh, movement machineries. Cluster viruses require at least five proteins for their spread within their plant hosts. And these proteins involve the major and minor code proteins, a viral homologue of cellular heat shock proteins in the family HSP70, P61, a small hydrophobic protein P6, and in addition, citrus tristeza cluster virus also needs two additional proteins, P33, and um, the viral leader protease L2, which mediate virus movement in a host-dependent manner. Whether these, all these proteins work in concert or uh, mediate individual facets of virus translocation is unknown. Um, plant viruses that are limited to the phloem also are capable of manipulating phloem. And one such example comes from plant rioviruses that induce proliferation of phloem parenchymal cells and seed elements, uh, which results in formation of tumors. And these tumors create favorable, 
favorable environment for virus multiplication. Recently, we published a review that discusses a current knowledge of the virus host interactions and particularly focuses on the interactions of plant viruses with the flora. And this review, in addition to discussing virus manipulation of the phloem, um, discusses also additional interesting and exciting concepts, uh, such as the possibility that viral RNA uh, hijack uh, endogenous phloem RNA transport system, which allows viruses to move in the form of RNA associated with plant uh, RNA binding protein or uh, a recent discovery that uh, viruses can move and translocate within their hosts in the form of entire replication complexes. Today, uh, in my presentation, I would like to ask, address another important question and uh, discuss factors and processes that uh, mediate phloem limitation, phloem restriction of phloem limited viruses. Based on um, certain observations that uh, have been done by different research groups, two hypotheses explaining phloem restriction of certain viruses have been suggested. According to the first one, phloem restriction could be due to the lack of viral factors facilitating infection in non-phloem cells. For instance, uh, citrus tristeza virus was able to partially overcome and escape from phloem when its silencing suppressor was overexpressed and a host RNA silencing response was downregulated. Fluid restriction could also be a virus control function that allows the virus to maximize its titers at the feeding sites of vectoring insects, uh, such as was demonstrated in a study with the plant Palera virus. In our recent work, we recently discovered another possible mechanism that limits uh, certain viruses to the phloem, and this mechanism is regulated by the plant host immune system. And I would like to discuss our work with this introductory slide that illustrates a multi-layered system that plants have evolved to perceive and defeat pathogens. The major uh, antiviral responses in plants include innate, immune, innate immunity pathways, which are triggered by the recognition of specific viral proteins or double-stranded RNA by specialized plant receptors. And this recognition triggers production of reactive oxygen species, um, in, induces uh, phytohormones such as salicylic acid signaling pathways, uh, elevates production of defense genes and overall transcriptional reprogramming, and in some cases also results in programmed cell deaths. In plants, however, recognition of double-stranded RNA also induces another host defense mechanism, which is RNA silencing or RNA interference, which is mediated by small RNAs and leads to the sequence-specific degradation or interference with translation of viral RNA. Among other defense pathways are transcriptional repression and autophagy or ubiquitination mediated deg degradation of viral proteins. We are working with Citrus tristeza virus, the largest and most complex member of the cluster viride family. It has long flexuous virions of unique morphology, so-called rattlesnake structure, built of two capsid proteins, which cover the genomic RNA, which size is approximately 20 kilobase. The natural host range of CTV is limited to citrus, in which the virus infects phloem associated cells. Under the laboratory condition, the virus also could infect a herbaceous Nicotiana bentamiana host. The virus is transmitted by aphids and by uh, infected buttwood, and in citrus causes two major diseases, quick decline, which is death of citrus trees grafted onto the sour orange rootstock, and stampeding, which severely affects sweet oranges, 
grapefruits and lime trees irrespective of the rootstock and results from the abnormal vascular development induced by the virus. The 9.3 kilobase genome of CTV encodes 12 open reading, uh, contains 12 open reading frames and encodes, uh, which encode proteins involving virus replication, movement, virion assembly, three RNA silencing suppressors, and three proteins, P13, P18, and P13 and P33, P18 and P13, which extend the virus host range. However, many citrus varieties could be infected with the virus variants in which these three genes were deleted. And we are particularly interested in understanding the role of the P33 protein in virus infection. This study began with the demonstration that citrus tristeza virus infection triggers accumulation of reactive oxygen species in the citrus host as well as in a herbaceous host Nicotiana bentemiana. This uh, was demonstrated uh, by using staining with diaminobenzidine, which detects hydrogen peroxide. Production of reactive oxygen species upon CTV infection also was accompanied by elevation of two hypersensitive response marker genes and also three genes of pathogenesis related proteins. In order to assess which protein of citrus tristeza virus or proteins are responsible for this phenotype for production of reactive oxygen species, we overexpressed 15 CTV proteins and examine the ability to induce ROS and necrotic reaction in leaves of Nicotiana bentemiana plants. And as a result, we found that three proteins were responsible for this phenotype. Surprisingly and somewhat unexpectedly, uh, the P33 protein was one of them. The other two proteins were P23 and P20, and these two proteins are suppressors of silencing and uh, viral suppressors of silencing and proteins of this type are known to interfere with plant immunity and thus uh, such phenotype production of ROS and necrotic reaction induced by these two proteins was not so much surprising for us. And therefore we focused our further um, efforts on understanding the role of the P33 protein in this process. To um, assess the role of the P33 protein in inducing uh, the host immune response, we compared the impact of uh, the wild type virus inoculation with that of a virus variant in which the P33 gene was deleted. And please note that both virus variants were tagged uh, with the green fluorescent protein by insertion of the green fluorescent protein gene in the viral genomes. Uh, when these viruses infect plants, they produce their own proteins along with production of GFP, and therefore GFP fluorescence can be can be can serve as a marker of virus accumulation. Um, along uh, with some other methods. And this was used uh, as one of the methods to compare titers or levels of accumulation of these viruses, along with some other methods based on sero serological or reverse transcription PCR detection uh, and um, assessment of viral titers. And uh, the first observation that we made that accumulation of the mutant deletion uh, um, virus variant, uh, which contained a deletion of the P33 gene. So accumulation of this mutant virus was significantly higher than that of the wild type virus. On the other hand, uh, this deletion mutant uh, did not induce high levels of ROS and also did not cause strong plant cell deaths, as you can see in those images. To compare and uh, to um, assess whether the plant immune response in citrus uh, 
parallels that uh, in Nicosiana bentemiana, we inoculated citrus plants, young citrus, citrus seedlings of uh, citrus macrophylla with these two virus variants and examined their distribution in, citru in those plants. Examination of G fluorescence um, revealed that while the full length wild type virus was confined to a narrow circle of uh, phloem associated cells on the cross sections through, made through the young stems of these infected plants, the mutant virus in which the P33 gene was deleted was showing forming groups, larger groups of cells, um, which expressed GFP, and apparently those cells were infected by this deletion mutant. And what was interesting, that these groups of cells uh, were not located in this narrow circle of the phloem, but were expanding beyond the phloem uh, uh, towards the xylem area. To understand uh, the uh, which processes were responsible uh, for such differential tissue distribution. Uh, we uh, subjected uh, the, these pieces uh, of uh, tissue pieces of, uh, from these infected plants to staining with diaminobenzidine and revealed that in those tissue samples that were collected from plants that were infected with the full-length wild type virus, we saw the formation of dark a brown ring at the inner surface of the phloem, uh, illustrating high accumulation of reactive oxygen species. On the other hand, no such formation of ROS were noted in healthy uninfected samples, or also in samples uh, collected from plants that were infected with the deletion mutant virus. High level of production uh, of ROS in uh, plants infected with the wild type virus also uh, were accompanied by elevation of the superoxide disputase gene, which is a marker gene for ROS production. So this highlighted the importance of ROS production uh, as a part of the host uh, immunity response and uh, suggested that P33 protein is one of the viral factors responsible to trigger this reaction. Examination of um, tissue uh, sections using confocal microscope also uh, revealed that while the wild type virus was able to infect only phloem associated cells, the P33 deletion mutant was found infecting immature xylem trochaic cells, uh, which indicated that the tissue tropism of this P33 deletion mutant was now altered. And um, in addition to infecting phloem cells, this virus was able to invade xylem. So our next question was, um, how the ability of this deletion mutant to invade xylem cells, immature xylem cells, now affects the overall differentiation and development of vascular tissue in citrus plants. And we assessed uh, this question by examining all the stems uh, from trees that were infected with the wild type CTV virus or stems that were infected with the deletion mutant using fluoroglucinol, which stains lignin in uh, mature xylem cells. And this staining revealed that the xylem area in the stems collected from uh, plants that were infected with the P33 deletion mutant uh, lacked lignification and had a jagged edge appearance. On the other hand, uh, stems uh, collected from plants that were infected with the wild type virus were highly lignified and the xylem area had a typical thick ring appearance. So um, these observations suggested that the ability of the P33 deletion mutant to invade xylem cells also was accompanied by the perturbed differentiation of the vascular tissue. 
few years ago, there was a study uh, that reported that deletion of the P33 gene from the CTV virus results in the enhancement of stampeding, one of the major disease syndrome induced by CTV. Yet the question how deletion of this gene induces strong stampeding remained unanswered. Our work now brings an explanation for this interesting phenomenon and suggests that the host recognizes the P33 protein, which is now we can call as viral effector. And by uh, recognition of this viral effector, as at the next step, a host mounts a strong and fast host response that uh, is mediated uh, by production of reactive oxygen species. And this host response is mounted in the virus-infected cells and also in the adjacent cells. And as a result, virus is limited uh, within phloem and is unable to move beyond the phloem cells. Um, by um, mounting this strong and uh, effective host response, uh, host uh, limits production of the disease and essentially minimizes its own damage. On another hand, uh, when uh, we have virus in which this effector, um, P33 protein, is not produced, uh, host is unable to mount effective host response. And this way, virus is able to move further beyond phloem, invade xylem cells, and continuously perturb the differentiation of the vascular tissue. Um, it's um, interesting in respect to the role of the P33 protein uh, to, uh, uh, in virus infection, it's interesting to note that although P33 protein is not conserved among uh, cluster viruses. Few members of uh, the genus cluster virus encode proteins which are about 30 kilodalton size, and their genes are situated at the same genomic position as that of the citrus tristeza virus P33 gene. Although um, primary amino acid sequences of those proteins are not conserved and do not share homology. All these proteins possess a C-terminal transmembrane domain and N-terminal helices. So we can hypothesize that structural similarities between these proteins could account for uh, similarity in functions of these proteins found in different cluster viruses. And at the end, I would like to uh, thank a person who done most of this study uh, that I was presenting today. And uh, this is Yongju San, former PhD student in our lab. And now he continues his research in our lab uh, as a postdoctoral researcher. And I also would like to thank National Science Foundation for providing, for providing funding support for this and some other studies in our lab. And I also would like to thank all of you for your attention. Thank you.